Okay, we're at the end of our week of strength for today. And we're still in the second half of the seven things to help strengthen us. Bodybuilding tips for our spirit. All right, so we're on number six. And number six is rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Okay, we already mentioned Nehemiah 8.10 earlier in the week, but it says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. You know what? Life is a journey. And so I want to ask you, are you enjoying the trip? Or are you one of those people who's like, are we there yet? How much longer? Oh, how long have we been driving? Don't. Just enjoy it. Look out the window. Enjoy the beauty of everything that's surrounding you. Enjoy the trip. Rejoice. You know what? Whistle. Sing a song. Take a selfie. Okay? But enjoy the trip. Okay, number seven, it goes right along with sing a song. Yes, you guessed it. Praise and worship. Praise and worship makes us strong. All throughout Psalms, we see that, you know, putting God in the right place. What is that right place? High and lifted up. We see it with David again and again. David would start off talking to the Lord. He would be so depressed. He would talk to himself, why are you so downcast, my soul? Put your hope in God. He was trying to encourage himself. You know what? But the more David talked, every time he would build himself up, he would lift up God, and David would end up strengthened. By the end, he'd be praising the Lord, talking about how great God is, and nothing is too difficult for him. You know what? That same thing happens with us. God's name is El Yon, one of his many names, and it means Most High God. That means everything else has to bow its knee. Nothing else is higher than him. He's exalted. He's lifted up. When we exalt him, that means we look at him above our problem. Now, I don't know about you, but if I spend more time focusing on a problem, it sucks the life out of me. And there's no question of me having strength. I'm going to be exhausted, just depleted. But you know what? If I focus on God and he is my solution and he is the answer to every problem and there's no problem too big for him. You know, he says, I'm the God of all flesh. Is anything too difficult for me? No, nothing. You know what then? I get strengthened. I'm encouraged. So in that, we see that praise and worship establishes our heart. It's not emotion-based. It's true strength from resting in God. Resting in God. So in all of these things, strength, peace, joy, we see that it takes faith and it takes patience for us to receive it and to walk it out. That's true. Okay? It takes faith for us to say, you know, let the weak say I am strong. I have to have faith to believe that. Not just saying something. I have to really have faith. And patience, waiting on the Lord. Hello, patience. Yeah, we have to have faith and patience to really walk this out. So faith believes that it receives and then it waits until that's manifested. That's the faith and that's the patience. We, we can't just believe it and then think, oh, it didn't happen right there in that second. We have to wait, wait. But God does it. God moves. He moves at the speed that he knows we need. So go in the second mile. I want us to really declare over ourselves, all right? Looking at our past, you know, where I have failed because of fear or weakness or trusting in the wrong things. Because of that, you know, now all those bad things happened, right? Because I trusted in the wrong things. But because of my new choice, my choice today, that I'm going to put my trust in God, then what? He is my strength. He is my strength for today. And when he is my strength, then I'm going to have victory in those very areas where I failed before. I'm going to have a victory now. Amen? So I want you to live like you believe it and expect it to happen in Jesus' name.